Hi there, Sonia with the Inspired Pen with a walkthrough on a junk journal I just finished. Um, it has a lot of sewing, a lot of pockets, a lot of tucks. Um, it is a lot of fun. It is kind of, it has a whimsical theme to it. I wanted to capture kind of that feeling of, you know, being a little girl and how magical and wonderful everything is when you're little. And so it has a lot of sewing. It has this really cute ballerina with that great little crown on it with the bling. Um, I did a little skirt out of tulle and then different ribbon. It has five signatures. They are sewn in, so they're permanent. And then, and that's a vintage handkerchief that I used for the spine. And then there's the back. And this thing is huge, as you can see. It's, um, this is about three inches, so it's chuck full, just absolutely chuck full. Um, open it up and do a walk through here. So this is the first signature, very glittery, very sparkly. It really has a nice, nice little shine to it. Very, very pretty. Um, there's a lot of pink in this journal. So if you like pink, this is definitely going to be your vibe. Um, I used a lot of these flashcards in here that um, I aged. And we've got lots and lots of pockets and tucks. Lots. I did these fairy stamps in here just because I thought they were super cute. And kind of go along with that whimsical theme. Um, this is a piece out of a vintage pattern catalog. And I did a couple pieces of the fabric that matched the journal. Kind of like a swatch. Um, you know, swatch of what you would, could use for the cute little dresses there. Tons of sewing. I've got all that pleated fabric on there. There are some book pages out of a children's book. Um, more of the pages out of that, out of one of those pattern, vintage pattern books. Some collage work in here. A huge, huge, huge variety of different paper. And like I said, lots of pockets, lots of tucks. This one was a lot of fun to do. It's different than what I normally do. I normally do more um, vintage or, I don't know, more, I guess, grown-up looking books. But this one I just wanted to do something that was a lot of fun. There are these pictures that are paper clipped in here. And I have a pocket made out of, I think, one. But I thought those were really a cute little addition to the book. All different kinds of paper. A lot of stamping. There's a tuck right here. With a little, little, girl, little girl with flowers on her. And I included as many of the scraps that I, were left over after I made the cover. So... The book has that cohesive feel in it. And we've got more of the flashcards, more of the fairies. There's also stickers that I used in here that go along with the fairies, which I just think are really cute. They kind of added a lot of embellishment to it. And then there's more of that from that pattern book. Another one of those pictures, so you could use this for a tuck spot as well. And you can also write on the back of those pictures. I just, I was going to use them all as pockets, but then I got to thinking about it. I was like, but wait, that's a surface, so let's not do that. Um, this is a flocked rabbit. A little jewel on his nose. You can journal on the back of him. Um, he goes in this little fabric pocket here. And then I've got the embellishments there. Um, I've recently got into flocking again and decided that I really like it. And if you spray flocking with a workable fixative, it stays a lot better. Um, you can still feel the softness of it, but it holds up better. It doesn't, um, it doesn't come off most of the time. Flocking will flake off in time. That, back to that. This is a vintage, it's kind of like a vintage note card. Um, I have a bunch of these, but I just thought that was so cute. The little mother mouse and her little, little children. Um, balloons, rainbows, tons and tons of fun stuff. Um, I did these glittered pieces in here. 
So there's sequins on this mermaid's tail and then that's glitter. And I heated the glitter up with my heat gun and it made it like, like you can rub on this all day long and this doesn't come off. It's, it's amazing. Actually, I've never done that before. So it's a new technique that I used that I was thrilled with. I was like, oh my gosh, this works really well. So sometimes, you know, when you're trying to dry things in a hurry, <laughs> you turn out finding out something really, really cool. I don't know if anybody's ever done that before, but it turned out really cool. It's almost like embossing, but you still get that really great glitter feel to it. Um, there's another tuck with a really cute little note card. More sewing. Lots of paper, like I said. Um, this tuck has a couple different sheets of paper in it. And that really great... Um, flower on there. That's one of those ones that you iron on, but of course I glued it on because ironing on paper is, it doesn't usually stick. More rainbows. And this would be the third signature. Like I said, I paper clipped a lot of stuff in this one, tucked a lot of stuff in. There's also a lot of plain paper in here, so, you know, you can decorate it the way you want it. And there's another tuck. And there's those cute little fairies They're in sticker form. Can't get that without the glare. I'm trying to do this in my light box because my lighting is terrible today. They uh, called for snow this morning. We'll see if that happens. It's Montana. <laughs> we kind of get used to any time after September. This might snow. And there's another one of those really beautiful vintage looking pictures. Um, guest check. I love this one. So it's a balloon animal sticker, but it looks like a unicorn. You just, that's, that's whimsical. And we've got the butterfly that kind of 3D pops off the page. That glimmer and shine that I was going for in this book. And then this one, so this is the outside. This is a tuck. It's got a little tag in there and then you flip it out this way and it has an envelope with more tuck space in it so it's got kind of a really interactive feature to it I have two of those um, interactive envelopes in here and just for fun because they're fun it's fun when you have things like that you can do in a junk journal and there's a little little cupid that I did that same glitter technique on with the heat gun and the glitter and it really just holds up so incredibly well so you can rub on that and it's not going to come off which aren't we all looking for things that work so here's a little post-it note and little tags and this little tuck so it's got this tuck here this tuck here turn it over it's got a bigger tuck back here with a tag in it and then there's another tuck here which I'm gonna slip something in there but I haven't done that yet put a tag in there or something it's always nice to have more tuck spots and places to store your stuff here's a tag that pulls out and then this little craft envelope and then there's jewels on this pocket, and there's another one of those pullouts. There's another one of those fairy stickers. It matches the stamping in here. More stamping. Lots of stamping. Um, these are rub-ons that I put on that just kind of match the whimsical theme. Lots of sewing. I really, really think this just turned out really cute. There's the star trail stamp I have that matches the fairies. It came with the fairy stamps. Another children's book page there. That's one of my favorites. I really like that one. It's so cute. And it just gives you kind of a, I don't know, this book makes me happy. It just, it really does. It's just so cheerful and pretty. A little unicorn paper clip there. Go through here some more. So here's that pocket that I made with the picture. So it's got stuff tucked in there. 
That's a flocked lamb. I'm, it matches the picture. There's a little bit of glitter in that lamb. I'll see if I can get that. Well, can't really get the glitter in there in the light box, but there is some glitter in there. So it's flocked and, and has some glitter in there. And it really matches that picture, that hat, just the bonnet and, you know, Mary had a little lamb kind of vibe to it. So really thought that went along with it. More decorated pages. Okay, here's this. Here's the second envelope. So same thing. This one has a picture tucked in it. Just matches the overall theme. That one's got a little kid dressed up like a cupid, so it's just super cute. Little girls with their dolls. And I really, really, really like this one because it's so pretty. There's another tuck, another one of those fairy stickers. More sewing. There's some more glittery accents. So this part actually comes up so you could actually tuck something under there. And then it's got the butterfly on there. It's organza butterflies with these beautiful little jewels on them. And then part of that handkerchief that I used on the binding. And then there's another tuck, some more stickers from that set. I got that set ages ago. I mean, probably, let's see, probably about 14 years ago. <laughs> I've had them around for a long time. So that is that walkthrough. And I hope you like it. I really enjoyed making this one. It just, it's just stuffed full of beautiful, whimsical pieces and I, I just really like it. It brings out that, that feeling of being a little girl and how magical everything is when you're little. Anyway, I hope you have a nice day and thank you for joining me.